It could have been more speed on their lips. For real? The good expression of made at the end made it seem memorable and great despite not being explicit enough for my taste. Also I love Minerva and Yukino. Yukino always has this pure maiden vibe and a feminine innocent voice. It's a wonder she's even a fighter, given how frail and beautiful she is. Fairy tale is about to make a big comeback. Oh really? That's great! I'm so happy that you guys are gonna get That's so not something to cry about. We keep her in the honey and protect her as a precious law. I love how she interacts with Lucy. And for some reason she still has the fish and Libra keys. Open! Divine gate of the two fish! In fact, it can be fatal. <laughs> like Lucy needs to steal those. Also it turns out Sorno is her older sister. Whoa, what a twist. But it looks like we're safe for now, big sister. <laughs> I thought I told you I'm not your sister. <laughs> you mean more mature look alike is related to her. Yukino has a beautiful skin. Looks like silk. Yukino has such a beautiful skin. Looks like silk. And her white hair only makes her look more pure and innocent. Than her clumsy personality allows. If you if you like princesses and good submissive girls, Yukino is the best product on the fertile market. Minerva is the mean boss lady archetype, mean arrogant, mean arrogant eyes and a tight big ass to go with her slender weight and big boobs. She also kind of looks Chinese with her bums and strongly similar attire. Please, don't touch me. <laughs> Minerva is kind of like the mean Chinese concubine who kills the king and becomes empress by marrying her son. Uh, yeah, I got so too much history and hentai. <laughs> <laughs> I love her voice. Just like Kagwa, she has a lower intonation, yet it's a sexy demeanor. It's been some time. Yeah. You all made such a wonderful guild. <laughs> the best thing with Yukino, Kagwa, and Minerva is when they fight uh, Larkate and they start eating each other. And they start eating each other out. Naturally, they are only biting each other like animals. It was pretty good to see them beautiful, proper ladies be humiliated and succumb to their carnal temptation. Another worthy mention from the Spring and Twelve is their magical knight who can stop time, Timaria Yester. I like how during her introduction, even the show was self aware how similar her power descriptions are to the abilities Urza possesses. It's no wonder we get along so well. Demaria, the warrior queen. So she's a wizard and a knight? Sounds kind of familiar, doesn't it? Fairyta might be dumb from time to time, but is smart enough to be self-aware of his shortcomings and repetitive nature. Demelia is an alright character. I mean, at first she seems to be against Brandish, to let on be kind of attached to her. Her fight with Wendy, Carla, and Shira was okay. Ultimate ability of stopping time was nullified by our star sisters. And then she became a demon. Hmm. Brandish and Demelia have the most overpowered abilities in action shonen, yet Fate have found a way to keep them balanced in a fight, and even entertaining. For you to make his innards start expanding until he popped like a balloon. And then, once you shrunk the girl, you could have stomped her like a grape. This on skill to even things out. Or your opponent can burst out your organs, while your opponent can just burst out your organs at any time. When it comes to stopping time, I watch, I watch way too much of media not to want to abuse such an ability. Stopping time <laughs> in an old girl's high school when the boss are on TV. Hmm. <laughs> they are sadly rather uncreative with her God-given powers. When it comes to Wendy, I do like her character. Seeing her sing was kind of weird, but she's otherwise cute and energetic. The cat which was visibly improved is Kala. Our flying cat is not human form. Natsu Lucy and the Tomcat. Oh my apologies. Hello there, Happy. Oh this? I mastered my transformation ability. This form both increases my magic power and enhances my clairvoyance. And she is hot as hell. A lowly nonetheless, but with a tight figure and some modest sized breasts. With a bigger variety of titties, because the vast 
majority of girls from right they have huge knockers Wendy this is different heavy there's no way which is perfect but the have my eyes with some knowledge is also welcome surprise also have to mention Mia Jane and Lisana Lisana is kind of weak on the level of Levi, Evergreen and Kana not the main fighter like her sister Urza, Zuvia or as now even Lucy I don't like Minerva I don't like Mira Jane her Satan form is awesome uh, the centerfold's Mira Jane she's so pretty I wish I knew how to get to be a member however I don't see her like the most beautiful member of Hazel best spot is either for Lucy or, or Urza And yet her model figure does help in enjoy her character. She was introduced as the peanut model of the guild with the most pretty girl Magnolia until Lucy appeared. How many times I gotta tell you? Watch out, Blondie! <laughs> Man, that was a close one. <sighs> I guess Ursa is a bit too intimidating and dominant, which kills guys away. When it comes to strength, Mira Jane is weaker than Urza. Even now, Urza managed to defeat a spring on 12 Melba with a bit of help from Biska. But Mira Jane only managed to defeat some familiar, some secondary familiars and get tied up and naked. So you've met my little ones. In fact, it appears you had quite a lively introduction. Well, I guess it is a win-win scenario for me as well. If the girls win, yay! The good guys did it. If not, we get to see the naked and abuse. Which is also great for the camera. Same with Kagura logic. Oh, so indecent! Whoopsie! I mean, Mira Jane does end up defeating that Jason Stratton sounding guy who's an assassin. Oh my! I can't look! It's too racy! You're being kind of rude, you know! But, I mean, he was closing his eyes because it was way too hard for him, so it was kind of a, an unfair fight. Even Mira Jane recognized that at the end that she kind of got lucky by being so hot. That was so weird. Why did he keep his eyes closed the entire time? <laughs> oh well, his loss. He might have had a shot if he kept them open. By the way, what why can I find figurines of Mira Jane? Like, I can find like, I can find like seven different type of outfits for Lucy and quite a few for us as well in armor or bikini. But I can't find any other girls anymore. Well, I guess in the early 2010s they were everywhere on Amazon, but now it's really hard to find. I remember seeing a Juvia and a Yukino, like in the past. Man, I miss some opportunities. As a side note, I like how Homura from Eden Zero is a combination between Kagura and Arza. She's my second favorite character from that series. After Becca, you cannot defeat a blonde bimbo with big girls. Also, this season is the first time I actually liked Sting. It's a pretty awesome moment when he defeats one of the main strongest members of Spriggan 12. Hey, Rogue! Thanks for the power! I've got a fire in my belly! Finally, he has like a hero and protects the ladies, like a rude champion. His one magic combined with the shadows and cover of gravity ability really made Sting quite an opponent to reckon with. As I'm using all of our powers combined into one! Mine too, huh? The whole finale season is just a big, great battle. Kinda like the Marianne Ford arc, but with less story, meaningful conflict, and a lot more beautiful naked women. And what are you doing? Cut that out this instant! I just can't help myself. You look so yummy. I take it. So I'm just fine for me. Once I'm starting to like Mavis Vermilion, the first blonde lolly master of the guild, she and Zeroth have a past together, and they match perfectly. In Evil Brunette, with the blonde ambitious lolly, it's what I want in a shadow romance. Marvis has a more active role to play as she regains her body, and now can be exploited and abused just like all the other girls. I like her voice, it's the same voice actress from Sailor Moon, it's the same voice actress from Sailor Moon as Usagi. It's not so dumb and simple, 
Yeah, kill the innocent. Because in the fairy tale, I wonder their founding master was a better as a girl. <laughs>